Hey, this is Chad from Bacon Firearms Reviews. I guess uh, a lot of you that are subscribed to my channel and people commenting on the video on the M19 carbine by Chiapa or the Citadel is the name of this rifle. It's a replica of the M1 carbine. I guess a lot of you uh, requested what kind of grains of uh, bullets for 9mm you can run through this thing. And also, I'm going to add in mags too and test out pro mags gi models for m9 berettas and you know just the mag that goes comes with this and test it out see it actually there is no failure to feeds so this is just more of a reliability test to see what kind of mags are out there for the m19 carbine citadel by kiapa the ammo we'll be using today i don't have any 115 grains but i got some 147 grain encapsulated uh full metal jacket 9mm Luger. It's by, made by Winchester. First up, we got the uh, Pro Mag for 32 rounder from, for uh, Renna 92FS. That's what this company recommends for uh, Kiapa for mags you can run in this. It's supposed to run M9 Beretta 92 model uh, mag. So let's see if this actually works. Locks in there pretty good. Already a failure to feed. It's not looking good. So that'll be a no on the Pro Mags. Let's test out the factory mags that come with it. Uh, these are 10 rounders, but I actually uh, modified it so it can hold 15, actually 16, actually squeezing this mag. So we'll see if this actually works. All right, so I put the full 16 rounds in the factory mag. We'll see if this will run through it again. See that worked out pretty good. Now we got the M9 factory or uh, government mags for the M9 Berettas. So we'll see how this thing works out with this. These kind of have slap in because they're kind of tight, but we'll see if it works. <laughs> Failure to feed. Mag popped out. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. <laughs> Failure to feed. It's not looking good for these. <laughs> Some of the mags actually work from their for M9, their government model mags. So the last one didn't work out very well, so I grabbed a second one. I got five of these, so we'll just see if just it's just picky about some of these magazines, because that's what I hear. So let's test that theory out. Let's see if it works. Locks in there good. No failure to feed, so we're good. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. Well, it looks like it ran right through it pretty well after a little bit into the mag so these are kind of hit and miss I wouldn't rely on these I'd probably rely on the factory mags from Kiapa so I decided to go back to the store because I think it was unfair to just test one type of ammunition uh, in this rifle so what I got is 115 grain full metal jacket uh, ball ammo for 9 millimeter for the rifle so I picked this up also I got uh, 147 grain full metal jacket flat points. I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to be shooting these to see if they'll actually work. 
So first we're going to test out the uh, 115 grain um, full metal jacket uh, 9mm from American Eagle. Let's we'll see if it works. Now we got the factory uh, magazines. I'm only putting 10 rounds in it, so uh, that way we can serve on ammunition. If it can go through 10 rounds, then that'll be plenty. So we'll see how it goes. Locks in there good. In the chamber good. It seems like it likes that ammo, so let's test out some other mags. Now we're going to use the uh, government mags, so we'll see if these work. They're for M9 Berettas. Give it a little slap. Load in there good. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. This uh, government mags are kind of iffy. Now we're going to test out the Pro Mag, the 32 rounders for a uh, Brita uh, Model 92FS. Wiggles a little bit, but it goes in there. Loaded up pretty good. Failure to feed. Well, it looks like I've got one hang up in there, so I guess the 115 grains are working out pretty good. Now we're going to test out the 147 grain uh, full metal jacketed flat nose uh, bullets from American Eagle. We'll see if this works. This is the factory mag, so we all know this could probably run through it. Locks in there. Slides in there good. Works pretty well with that ammunition. Now we're going to test out the government uh, Brita or Brita M9 mags. Locks in there good. Fed in there well. Wow. I mean, that worked pretty well. Usually there's a hang up on the government mag. Now we're going to test out the 147 grain with the, uh, the Pro mag. So we'll see if this actually works. It worked pretty good. So my conclusion to this rifle is it's probably picking an ammo. Uh, it doesn't like the Winchester encapsulated flat nose 147 grain bullets, but it really likes the 147 grain uh, full metal jacket flat point. It really likes this ammunition, so I'd probably go with this if you could use a 32 rounder. So I was kind of surprised with that result. So uh, yeah, just the 32 rounders, it's going to be etchy um, with the ammunition. So if you're going to use the uh, Pro Mags, which are the Breda 92 models, it's going to be uh, kind of picky on ammo. The factory mags on their hand, they're not too picky. So, I mean, even even with that uh, Winchester ammo, yeah, you had one hiccup, but it actually ran through the ammo. So it just depends on what mag and what kind of ammunition you have. So it's kind of picky on both the mags and also the ammunition. So uh, that's my conclusion to the video. hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful for your uh, purchase in the future for M19 Carbine Citadel. And like always, have a bacon of a day.